So hello, I'm here to demonstrate how to create a visual pattern, which will help us find uh, the drugs with the most number of reported cases. In this case, we're going to find the top 10 drugs with the most number of reported cases. So first, I'm going to give this visual pattern a name, drugs with most reactions, edit, and I'm going to then give the pattern a description. So find the top 10 drugs with the most number of reported reactions. I'm going to now analyze the schema. So here is our schema. Uh, we, have, we can see that we have the drug vertex and each drug is associated with a drug sequence. And a drug sequence is associated with a reported case and a reported case can um, be associated with one or more um, reactions so these vertices and edges are probably the ones that we would need um, to create our visual pattern Okay, next I'm going to start creating the visual pattern. I'm going to pick the vertices and edges that uh, we need for this visual pattern. So all the drugs, drug sequence, report case, and reaction, um, visual, uh, vertex, and edge patterns. I'm going to merge the reported case pattern and the drug sequence vertex pattern. So first, I'm going to give the reaction vertex pattern a name, reaction, a small r. This is so that it will be easy to refer to it later. And then I'm going to give the drug vertex pattern an aggregation. I'm going to give it the function count distinct. So we're trying to find the number of distinct reactions associated or uh, that have been reported on this drug. And I'm going to then name it number of reactions. Next, um, I'm going to add an order to this um, vertex pattern, the drug vertex pattern. So we're trying to sort the output of the drugs based on the number of associated reactions. I'm going to put a descending order. And then I'm going to limit the output by 10 because I'm just trying to find the top 10 drugs with the most number of reported reactions. And then I'm going to set the drug vertex pattern as the output and save the pattern. So now I'm going to run the query. Here's our result. So here we have the top 10 drugs with the most number of reported reactions. 